Hey guys, what's up? It is Sarfnik here. Welcome back to another episode of The Illusioner. I'm here with Yuramanti once more. In the last episode was huge. We battled the Rat King and we got to witness those stupid mansion owners go to hell. Literally, they went to hell. And Yuri fell in, but he's not a ghost, so he was fine. Now, we also got the Ancient Right Key. So now let's talk to Triada. I'll give you more details on where to go next once you obtain a pickaxe. I'm not sure you can get one, but I do know that you need to get one to get to your next destination. Find a pickaxe. We have to do some mining, it seems. Let's ask the villagers. They probably know what to do. Uh, here's this guy. I heard Gerald's been working on a project behind his house. I was about to go see his progress. Oh, Gerald isn't selling stuff anymore. Or at least he's not running. How much money do I have after that? I have 29 gold. I'm literally hey, you have a lot. I have zero. Bruh. Oh, yeah, you can go through it. What the hell go. is he working on? I just finished building this arena here. Click that sign over there if you want to test out battle. I might even throw in a prize if you win. Alright, so there's a sign right here. Ready? To battle. Who is this dude? It's him. But he's armored. Man, he's a shield. Where is he? Oh man, I'm going to need to hold out my totem here. I don't want to die to this guy. Instant health. Don't let me down. Ah. Oh, we won. Those are some nice fight skills you got there. I didn't stand a chance. I don't have anything valuable I can give you as a prize. Sorry, but here's no pickaxe of mine. It'll have to do. Really, that's, that's all we needed. Oh, you got the pickaxe. Do you have any other fellow witch hunters that would like to train? Bow each other. Wait. Yuri. Wait, but I, I, I need to eat a golden apple first. I need, I need to eat a golden apple first. I didn't have the health. Hey, whatever, let's start. Anything. Oh, we're fighting each other? Yeah, this is like a, you can train against people here. That's Hope you don't lose gold, though. Ooh, I just broke that totem. Well, uh, let's talk to the tree elder now. We got that pickaxe. Or you got it. Soft Nick the champion. Aha! You managed to get your hands on a pickaxe. Good work. I got in contact with my pirate friend, Dakota. He told me there's a key in Kininami Cove. The middle key. That's the last key you need to collect before you can open the ancient gate and fight the illusioner. He gained, like, an accent there for a second. Speak to Gatekeeper Joe and open the gate for you. That time, instead of taking a right to Tree Village, take a left. You'll need to use your pickaxe to break some diorite blocking the path. It's going to a pirate village. The path will lead you straight to my pirate friend, who will be waiting for you. I'll take you to the ship that's headed. I feel like something's gonna go wrong. To Konami Cove. Good luck, witch hunters. All right, let's go to Konami Cove as our next questing place. Heading out. I'll open the gate for you. So we're going. Oh, I thought the gate was glitching for a second. It's really slow. Alright, let's go. So, we take a left instead of heading right. So, welcome to the forest. This is where the Tree Elder's village is. It's kind of more like of a native spiritual type place than this village is. Although the Tree Elder is pretty much a friend. Let's take a left. No trespassing. Yuri, careful. There might be something down here. This is no ah, there we go. We're fighting creatures. Although they're all pretty easy. Oh, we're, we're an abandoned mine, it seems. That guy doesn't even have a bow. Yeah, he's just a dead guy. Oh, I got stuck in some cobwebs. You're on your own. This isn't exactly hard. Spooters! Wow, this is actually a pretty large monster. There's a lot here. By a lot, I mean a lot. Oop. Watch out, it's pretty dark down here. I'm sure this isn't a trap by the Illusioner. I always had a feeling that that the Tree Elder could be behind this Illusioner thing. Because who knows, maybe we've already met the Illusioner. I mean, we already fought the Illusioner's rat and stuff. Alright, here we go. We're out of the cave. Parkour. Ah, here he is, I think. He's gonna take us. Wait, no? Lumberjack, I'm so sick of cutting down trees all the time. Do you feel the same way, fellow Lumberjack? Oh yeah, I'm a Lumberjack. Alright, mateys, you gotta be the witch hunters. Yeah, that's us. Alright, we can set sail anytime you want. Hop on the boat when you're ready. Alright. Alright, let's go. This is like... Oh yeah, in 2017, I took one of these down a the river in Lake Michigan. It was actually pretty fun. It was a lake in Michigan, not Lake Michigan, by the way. It was a really fun journey. Arg, we're here, mateys. The ship headed for Konami Cove be on the other side of this our island. Arg. Oh, there's boxes. What are you supposed to do with them? Uh, so there's a reset button, so can we move them? We can move them, we can move them. It seems, okay, there's 
Oh, we can turn this cannon. Oh, there's we can there's a way to fire it back here. So if I was to fire it at that thing, what would happen? No, it doesn't do anything. But look, there's a thing up there. So why turn it, turn is, it. Why is there a bucket? Okay, can you turn it? Oh, I'll turn it. There's a thing right there. So if I fire this at the, that thing, maybe it'll break the. Yeah, it broke the bars. Releasing water. Can we go up the water? Oh no, there's pipes down here. We can go down these pipes. Hopefully, we won't run into any dolphins again. Oh. This guy's on fire. Go in the water. Oh, I'm on fire. Help. That door is locked. Except we can see up there, and there's, uh, there's a familiar face. Oh, there's a bucket up here. The ship's on the other side of that point. So, whoa. <laughs> Did you hear that? What was that? Oh! This is an entity! This is an entity! This rock is fake! I don't know, it's just something. Oh, there's someone here. Who's up here? It's like an arm stand that's moving. Oh. Oh, he's hitting the rocks! Remember I told you I could hit the rocks? So look, you see I can hit these rocks, you see? Okay, what about the other rocks? Oh, that one's hittable too. So, okay, so this one's blue and that one's red, right? How about I go back up there and see if there's any correlation between red and blue. I think he's repeating a code of some sort. Yeah, he's... Oh, I have, to, I have to hit them in the same pattern he does. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna watch him. I'm, I'm just repeating the combo he's doing it. Okay, he seems to reset after that. Try that. Heard something. What'd that do? Iron Golem that. Oh. Uh, oh, there we go. More rocks. How do you hit that? Oh. Good, Maybe I launched a cannon? So you launched the cannon, right? Do anything, though. It, it's it, it, it's cool. summoning an, an egg when you do it. Uh, that's what I'm losing. So... A white dragon egg. Yeah. Do it in a different direction. I'll turn it. Shoot it here. Do it here. There you go. You're creating a hole. You're creating a hole. Now, what's that hole gonna do? It's keep. It keeps going. Keep doing it. Great. You created a hole straight to the. Hmm. Turn it. I don't think you. I don't... Wait. Okay. Stay here. Keep. Stay here, I'm gonna check if it's actually doing anything on that side of things, too. Alright, it's not hitting anything. Alright, Yuri, looks like we just gotta do some... What, what that? It keeps releasing something. Oh! Place, place crates there! Place crates there! Right in here, launch it. Launch the cannon, Yuri. Arrgh. No! Here. It's here. Okay. Alright, uh, we'll reset, I'm sorry. You grab the other one, I'll grab this one. Here we go, we reset the parrot. Yo, the parrot's flying. I have a cookie, I have a cookie. I fed the cookie to it. Oh, it, it's it's activating, it's collecting those. It's just going back and forth. Fire oh, fire the cannon at the bird, right? We can yeah. fire the cannon at the bird. Alright, let's rotate it. Straightward. Catch him in the middle. Got him. And then I'll, I'll collect the bucket. Alright, it's just a bucket. Oh, I can fill the water. Use oh, you need to uh, calm that guy down, he was on fire. Let's make him... Not on fire. Maybe you can tell how they get through. Ah, thank you so much. That feels so much better. I accidentally caught myself on fire while I was looking for the key to the door over there. Where, where is this key? Perhaps. You see, I had the key, but then I lost it somehow. I guess I should continue searching for it. Uh, he's, he's building a ladder. What is up here? I was positive I saw it somewhere around here. Or at least 30% positive. Oh no. Greetings, witch hunters. Once again, I've been hired to prevent you from proceeding. Okay, this guy's into a game show. Luckily for you, though, you're aware of my sweet spot for game shows, and I'm in the mood for. No! No! Why did we run into you? Welcome, everybody, to the second ever fabulously hosted game show. I'm here with your contestants today, Sarfnik and Yermonti. Today's show consists of 10 questions, so we have to hit our heads. Stay away from the beginning of the stage there. What is the name of the structure located behind Crazy Steve's house? It is Twilight Manor, right? Or Twilight Mansion? Twilight Manor, right? Yeah. If it's wrong, I think we just have to do some fights and bobs. It's kind of correct. Now, for the next question, this one occurred a long time ago. What entity was Twilight Manor infested with upon entering spiders? It's D. No, don't jump. Don't jump. It's D. Purple. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. The Stolerfish? No, when we entered, it was infested with spiders. Yeah, right? on entering, all right. Correct! Next up, a question that would require master concentration to answer correctly. Which one of these was not a room in Twilight Manor? 
It was the Foyer. kitchen. Uh, Foyer was a uh, attic. attic or the cellar. It's either a uh, cellar, 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 cellar for sure. Cause I don't remember there was basement, but not cellar. Please be right. Please be right. Yes, correct. What are you pirates doing with your life and dolphins? Oh no. Up next, we have a question regarding a boss battle against a dolphin. How ridiculous! What was the name of Articus' beam shooting entity? Betsy. Betsy. That's the only one that makes sense. Let's have a little Betsy up. All right. Wow, we're already about halfway through now. Actually, we'll one more question for everyone. His next question is, do we have brain-solving skills? What was the name of the riddle in Twilight Man's present time? It was the magical game. Hey. I know that. I mean, I edited the video, so I remember it better. Correct! And I took damage from this thing. Alright, where goes? The next question has to do with the transformation from villager to ghost. Ooh, spooky. Who was such one of the first villagers to be turned into a ghost in Twilight Manor? It was Robert, okay? Okay, so he's going double here. It was it was Robert, I think, but it also could have been Robert in Cyprus, but I'm going with Robert. Okay? So that's technically right. Nope, never mind. Fighting skeletons. Jerry, watch out. These guys are easy. Okay. So now we have to redo the entire game show. We don't plan for anything to get punished. Maybe they have to lose it again to fight more skeletons. Robert and Cypress. All right, this one. So it's it's gonna be Robert and Cypress. Yeah. I don't know about Antonio. That is a possibility. Okay, I, I just remember something. Antonio was the first to die. I I'm just gonna be in the audience here for a bit. All right, Antonio, Antonio. I'm gonna try Antonio. It has to be Antonio. There's no way it could be anyone else. Charles and Cypress and just Charles. Not. Yep. Yeah, good. So he died to the Rack King, and he was the first victim. Although Robert, like, followed, like, right away, pretty much. This following question branches out the previous question. Who was, slash, were the last villagers to turn to a ghost in Twilight Manor? It was, I think, Alfred and Mr. Winston. I'm gonna give that a shot. So it's D. I feel like that's what it was, because I remember Alfred and Mr. Winston were captured by the Illusion and the Night King. And the Rack King. Sorry, not Night King. Night King's a game from the world. Up next, yet another question about Twilight Man. Which room was blocked off in Twilight Manor's past time? It was the library. The library was blocked off. Every place else was accessible. Correct! I'm so tired of this dude. How much? We have two more questions. We're finally done with Twilight Manor questions and we're moving on to something new for this next one. What did Gerald build by in his house? An arena. So it's a. It was not a playground, nor a fountain. Portal is a possibility, but that's what Gilbert worked on a while back. Correct! Dolphins and pirates, as much as I hate to say it, this upcoming question will be the last one of the show. What is the name of the location with the third and final ancient key? So, it is Konomi Cove. D. Where are we're headed. Gecko Galaxy in Dream World sound pretty fun, though. Correct! Yes, we win. Only took us about three tries. Thank you, everyone, for attending the show. Let's give one last round of applause to our wonderful contestants. I hope to see you all on my next show. Part three. He's probably going to come back. All right. Okay. Hmm. We got a crate. We got a crate. We got a crate. Also, the day's ending, sort of. Let's see what this guy has to say. I might put it inside of something. Dang, memory's bad. Oh, it's inside the crate. To destroy with the cannonball, maybe? Cannon goes through the wall and lands. Oh, it lands Good. on the red stuff. So, want me to... Or do you want to test it? I'll move it. Yeah, it makes sense. The cannonball idea it makes sense. Good job, Yuri. Uh, Yuri? Yuri? Yes. I may have just got it fucking stuck. I have to reset it and do it all over again. That isn't fun. It's fun for the viewers because they can just gonna see a cut, but like, time lapse, I guess. Okay, ready? Ready? Do it. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. The key. Come back, come back. The metal key? It's it's the key to the door. 
Not the middle key. We have to go to the town to get that. <laughs> See, we got the well, ancient map, left key. So you have the left key, right? And then I have the right key. This place holds the middle key, I'm guessing. Alright. Hunkidori. Alright. Looks like we... Oh, God. Fight some pirates quickly. Looks like we're about to head on a boat, guys. In the next part, of course. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, we'll head on this... Oh, there's are spawning mobs here. I, I guess we probably should actually outro this once we get on the ship. Let's go on the ship. All right. gold. Come over here, come over here, come over here. Oh, you're going to farm gold. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. In the next episode, we will head to Konami Kurob or something. I don't know how to pronounce it. See you guys later. Bye.